Now let's change gears and talk about VinFast because the Vietnamese electric car maker made its stock market debut on the NASDAQ on Tuesday and it was a day to remember. Toyota's CEO was previously skeptical about electric vehicles. However, the company is now introducing a new engine that could greatly impact the automotive industry. Toyota is currently the only company making hydrogen tank and stack in-house. To make by ourselves is kind of tough, but we are getting a lot of experience. This innovative engine separates water into hydrogen and oxygen, providing a new method to power cars. The process involves combining water with a special substance and applying an electric charge, producing hydrogen fuel. Why is the EV market so terrified of this groundbreaking water engine going public? Let's examine how Toyota is taking over the entire EV market by making those engines look useless. Breaking the billion dollar mold with water fuel. Toyota believes this engine can solve many problems current electric cars face. For one, there's a lot of water on Earth, and it's much cheaper to get hydrogen from water than to produce gasoline. Also, hydrogen fuel is more efficient, meaning cars can go further on less fuel. This could be great for energy resources and economies worldwide. The engine uses the hydrogen in water as its main fuel. Here's how it works. The engine has a generator that spins using a mix of water and metallic hydroxide. This generates the electricity needed to break down water into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is then cooled until it becomes a liquid. This liquid hydrogen is fed into the engine's intake system and burned to power the car. Although it's called a hybrid system, this engine is moving us closer to cars that run entirely on hydrogen. This is a big step forward. The new engine from Toyota shows that cars don't need to rely on the old ways. By using hydrogen, Toyota is tackling the big problems with current batteries used in electric cars. This engine could be a clean and lasting solution for powering vehicles. It's not just about making a better car engine, it's about changing how we think about energy. Toyota's water engine isn't just about new technology. It's a clever move to fix the issues with today's car batteries. By offering a clean and sustainable way to power cars, Toyota is leading the way to a future where we rely less on gasoline and more on water. This isn't just good for cars, it could change how we use energy in general. Think about what this could mean for the world. Toyota's engine might change the future of car making. It's not just another engine, it's a bold idea about what's possible with alternative fuels. This new engine shows that hydrogen could be a better option than the batteries we use now. It paints a picture of the future, where cars run on water, making the world cleaner and greener. As the engine works, splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen, it shows the power of new ideas. This technology challenges the old ways and points to a future where we use the resources we have more wisely. Toyota's water engine could be the start of something big, a move towards a better, more sustainable way to drive. Toyota has always relied on gasoline engines, but when they invented the first gasoline electric hybrid engine, it pushed them to look into other energy sources. This sparked new ideas for future cars. At first, the hybrid engine was just a temporary step towards finding better fuel options. However, its success and the lackluster performance of fuel cell technology led Toyota to dig deeper. This about the creation of a hybrid water engine. Toyota is clearly determined to find better solutions, and they are not giving up anytime soon. We've seen many impressive cars from them, but there's something special about this new water engine. One thing is clear. It might completely shake up the EV industry. This new tech uses water as fuel. The water is turned into electrical energy, which then powers the car using a battery system. Toyota has already made a prototype of this engine, installed in a test car that runs on a mix of water and petrol. This engine is said to be twice as fuel efficient as a regular internal combustion engine. Plus, its exhaust emissions are below Japan's strict standards. For example, back in 2005, the Prius, a hybrid car with an electric motor, emitted 31% less CO2 than regular cars. If Toyota can make this new technology available to everyone, there won't be much reason to stick with current fuel options. The cost efficiency of this fuel is much better, surpassing any hybrid or standard internal combustion engine. The energy created from water is greater, and water is much cheaper than petrol. As a result, cars like the Prius might soon become outdated, speeding up the move towards fully electric vehicles. Consumers will benefit from this change since using a water fuel cell engine instead of an internal combustion engine 
will lower the cost of electric cars. The environmental and financial benefits of this engine are huge and could really change the auto industry. Toyota's hybrid journey leads to a new breakthrough, the dawn of water-powered vehicles. Toyota shifted gears with its first gasoline electric hybrid engine, pushing the company to explore alternative energy sources. Initially, hybrids seemed like a temporary fix in the hunt for better fuels, but their success and the unimpressive fuel cell tech kept Toyota digging. This led to the hybrid water engine. Toyota isn't backing down in its quest for better solutions, and they've delivered plenty of impressive cars. Yet this new water engine stands out. It's clear that this could turn the EV world on its head. This innovative technology uses water as fuel. Water is converted into electrical energy to power the car through a battery system. Toyota's prototype, installed in a test vehicle running on both water and petrol, claims to be twice as fuel efficient as a regular engine, with emissions below Japan's strict limits. To put this in perspective, the 2005 Prius, a hybrid with an electric motor, emitted 31% less CO2 than standard cars. If Toyota can bring this tech to the masses, sticking with current fuel types will seem pointless. This fuel's cost efficiency is much higher, surpassing any hybrid or standard internal combustion engine. The energy from water is greater, and water costs much less than petrol. This shift could make cars like the Prius obsolete, hastening the move to all electric vehicles. Consumers will gain from this, as using a water fuel cell engine will lower electric car costs. The environmental and cost advantages of this engine are massive and could revolutionize the car industry. Many economists claim that the electric vehicle industry could fix a lot of economic problems worldwide, echoing an International Energy Agency forecast that Investing in clean energy could create 20 million jobs. These jobs are in various areas like research, making things, installing, and keeping things working in the energy sector. The renewable energy and technology fields look ready to hire a wide variety of workers, from engineers and computer programmers to those in less specialized roles. These job opportunities are available locally and globally, offering people the chance to build a career and learn new skills. However, one might question whether this is just a shiny, new version of the old promise of job creation that industries use when they need to look better for harming the environment. The push for the EV industry really comes from strict laws that require less pollution from transport and cleaner vehicles. It might seem like a good thing, but could it also be a way to make industries follow international standards? Countries like Japan and Norway, for example, have set ambitious goals to stop using cars with combustion engines by 2025. Japan even wants all new cars to be electric by 2050, a big step that might seem aimed more at getting global praise than actual environmental concern. Such laws definitely paint a forward-thinking picture for the car industry, making it look like a good place for investments and new studies on sustainable fuels and electric driving technology. Among these new tech developments, Toyota's new water engine technology stands out. It replaces the old internal combustion engine with one that uses hydrogen from water, seemingly offering a cleaner choice because it only lets out water vapor. The process splits water into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is then used to power the engine in a gas form. This kind of burning is similar to what happens in a petrol engine, but without the harmful emissions. However, the excitement around this new tech isn't without its issues. The current ways to get hydrogen and use it in fuel cells, although they sound eco-friendly, aren't great at producing energy or storing it efficiently. This brings up doubts about how good hydrogen really is as a sustainable replacement for the internal combustion engine. The water engine is sometimes seen as a hybrid technology, similar to the Toyota Prius, which stores energy from fuel in a battery and turns it into electric power. But the effectiveness of these systems and whether they work well in real life is still uncertain. As we celebrate these tech advances, it's important to look deeper. Are these technologies truly revolutionary or just old ideas dressed up to look like they are solving our environmental problems? The move to a cleaner energy economy is often shown as inevitable and full of opportunities. Yet we have to wonder whether this portrayal is too optimistic, shaped as much by hope as by a chance to profit. The water car system claims to be a new, smarter way to store and use energy on board. It could even be better than electric cars. This system can directly improve through its water engine. By turning clean energy into motor power and storing energy on board, it offers two ways to update hybrid technology or even create a hydrogen-powered car. 
But can this water car really compete with electric cars and their big infrastructure anytime soon? How will water engines change the global economy? The hidden costs of clean energy's rise. Building and keeping up this new energy infrastructure is very expensive. Without enough places to refuel, people won't buy these new cars, even if they are really good. No matter how great a car is, it won't sell if there's no easy way to refuel it. Looking at all the information, it's clear that water cars use water for energy, while electric cars use electricity. This isn't just about which technology is better, but also about the practical side of things and the huge costs to build the needed infrastructure. According to How Stuff Works, both water and electric cars face big challenges to become widely used. Imagine driving a water car and worrying about where to refuel. With electric cars, at least you see more charging stations popping up. But think about how much money and effort it took to get those stations there. Now picture doing that all over again for water cars. It's a huge task. Tom Kander points out that fitting electric cars into our lives was already tough, but doable. Water cars might need even more work to make them part of our everyday life. So, while water cars look promising, there are still big hurdles to jump over. It's not just about having a cool new technology, it's also about making sure people can use it easily. If water cars are going to succeed, they need a lot more support and investment in infrastructure. People need to feel confident that they can refuel their cars without hassle. Both electric and water cars are part of the move away from fossil fuels. They represent steps towards cleaner energy, but the road to making them common on our streets is long and complicated. There's a lot of work to be done before we see water cars as a regular sight. And without the right infrastructure, even the best ideas can fail. So for now, the future of water cars is full of questions, and it will take time to see if they can really take off. Then there are hydrogen-powered vehicles, like Toyota's latest model. Hydrogen, the most abundant element, is hailed as the ultimate answer to our energy problems. But hydrogen isn't just available in a pure form. It has to be extracted, usually through methods that are not environmentally friendly. It's almost ironic, isn't it? A supposed solution creating another problem. Meanwhile, the traditional internal combustion engine is seen as the main cause of environmental pollution. It's blamed for air and water pollution and global warming. Critics focus on the pollution from burning fossil fuels. Carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and other harmful substances are released because the fuel isn't burned completely. But the same level of criticism isn't applied to the sources of electricity for our clean EVs. The increase in vehicle numbers directly leads to more pollution. Over the past century, the use of oil, coal, and gas has skyrocketed. The very fossil fuels that are criticized by environmentalists the irony is that as we push for more electric cars, coal and gas power plants have to work harder to meet the new demand for electricity. The cycle of pollution continues, just with a new, shinier face. The economic effects of gasoline prices are another issue that's often glossed over in the push for green technology. Gasoline costs affect the cost of living, slow economic growth, and increase the costs of importing and exporting goods. When natural disasters like Hurricane Katrina hit, the balance of supply and demand is disrupted, leading to panic buying and higher prices. The response to these crises often mirrors the panic rather than addressing the underlying problems. Enter the water engine vehicle, a new invention promised as a solution to our oil dependency. This technology promises freedom from gasoline price hikes, seemingly unaffected by the fluctuations in oil markets. But the practical application of this technology is far from certain. The current infrastructure, economic interests, and technological challenges create a significant gap between potential and reality. While the price of tap water stays relatively stable, this doesn't immediately solve the problem. The success of water-powered vehicles is still unclear. The costs of developing and maintaining the necessary infrastructure, the energy needed to extract hydrogen, and the scale of adoption all play a critical role in determining whether this technology will work. The story of electric and hydrogen vehicles is a mix of hope, half-truths, and selective optimism. We praise these technologies as the future while ignoring the full range of their environmental and economic impacts. It's a story made to comfort our eco-conscious minds rather than face the complex reality. Electric cars and hydrogen vehicles are praised as the next big thing in the automotive world. They are seen as solutions to environmental problems and as ways to move away from fossil fuels. Yet, 
there's more to this story than meets the eye. The real impact of new car tech sparks debate. Clear water, the future of fuel, electric cars running on batteries are said to be clean because they don't produce exhaust fumes. However, the electricity they use often comes from power plants that burn fossil fuels. This means that while the cars themselves don't pollute, the process of producing the electricity they use does. It's a fact that's often ignored in the rush to promote electric cars as environmentally friendly. Hydrogen-powered cars, like Toyota's new model, are another example. Hydrogen is the most common element in the universe, and it's being promoted as the solution to our energy problems. But hydrogen doesn't exist by itself in nature. It has to be extracted from other substances. This extraction process can be harmful to the environment, making the idea of hydrogen as a clean energy source a bit misleading. Traditional internal combustion engines, which run on gasoline, are blamed for a lot of pollution. They release carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and other pollutants because the fuel doesn't burn completely. These engines are seen as major contributors to air and water pollution and to global warming. However, the same scrutiny isn't always applied to the power plants that produce electricity for electric cars. The increase in the number of vehicles on the road has led to more pollution. Over the past century, the use of oil, coal, and gas has increased dramatically. These are the very fossil fuels that are criticized by those who support electric and hydrogen cars. The irony is that as we push for more electric cars, we still need more power plants to produce the electricity they use, which often means burning more fossil fuels. Gasoline prices also have a big impact on the economy. When gasoline prices go up, it costs more to live, the economy slows down, and the cost of goods goes up. Natural disasters like Hurricane Katrina can disrupt the supply of gasoline, leading to panic buying and higher prices. The response to these crises often focuses on the immediate problem rather than addressing the long-term issues. Water engine vehicles are being promoted as a solution to our dependence on oil. These vehicles don't need gasoline, so they aren't affected by oil market fluctuations. However, the success of this technology is still uncertain. There are many challenges to overcome, including the costs of developing the necessary infrastructure and the energy needed to produce hydrogen. The story of electric and hydrogen vehicles is a mix of hope and selective optimism. While they are promoted as the future, the full range of their environmental and economic impacts is often overlooked. This story is designed to make us feel good about our choices rather than confront the complex reality. It's not certain if this technology will work. If the water engine fails, people won't want gas-guzzling vehicles more. The water engine is designed for vehicles like SUVs and trucks, which are known for using fuel inefficiently. They use only a small part of their engine power for moving, while about 80-90% of the energy is lost as heat. The water engine tries to use this lost heat to create more power, which could make these vehicles up to 50% more fuel efficient. Toyota's new water-powered engine offers a green alternative to traditional petrol fuel. It's designed to replace the regular internal combustion engine and can use water for over a decade before needing a replacement. This engine is promising for fuel consumption problems and offers a clean, emission-free fuel. It's also easier to maintain because it doesn't cause sulfur buildup and carbon deposits like petrol engines. This new fuel could help create a world without air pollution. The engine's carbon emissions can be kept very low or even zero under normal conditions. It can also be adapted to current vehicles with some changes. The main advantage is its hydrogen-powered fuel cells. Toyota has long supported hydrogen-based fuel cells, and the water engine technology is an upgrade of this idea. By splitting water to produce hydrogen, the vehicle produces no carbon emissions, which is a big improvement over regular and hybrid engines. However, there's no information about where the electricity for the home refueling unit comes from. If widely used, off-peak electricity could reduce the load on power grids, which would also cut power plant emissions due to less gasoline consumption. Motor vehicles' carbon emissions are a major cause of global warming and a serious threat to our planet. Governments worldwide have enforced strict fuel efficiency rules, pushing the development of engines with lower emissions. One bold idea is to rethink the fuel source, focusing on cutting total emissions rather than just improving fuel efficiency. Although not guaranteed to stop the greenhouse effect, this idea could help if the energy source is renewable.
Current gasoline-powered cars release harmful chemicals like nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, and sulfur dioxide. In warm air, these chemicals form smog and acid rain, damaging the environment. Hybrid cars, however, produce lower levels of these harmful emissions compared to gasoline engines. For example, the Toyota FCHV fuel cell hybrid vehicle has zero CO2 emissions while driving. It combines a fuel cell with a hybrid system, generating electricity through a reaction between hydrogen and oxygen with no combustion involved. Hydrogen and water engines, the future of clean transport. Redefining green transportation with Toyota. Hydrogen is used to power a type of car known as the FCHV, fuel cell hydrogen vehicle. However, making hydrogen does release some CO2, which are emissions from the beginning of the process to the tank. These are called well-to-tank emissions. When we compare the FCHV that uses hydrogen made from natural gas with a regular gasoline car, the FCHV cuts down CO2 emissions by nearly 30%. This is good because it helps reduce the amount of greenhouse gases we put into the atmosphere. Hybrid cars, which use a combination of gas and electric power, are also better for the environment. They release fewer pollutants that can damage the ozone layer, which is important for protecting the Earth from too much sunlight. With lower levels of these harmful emissions, hybrid cars help slow down global warming and reduce damage to the ozone layer. This is crucial because it helps maintain a stable climate and protects our health and the environment. Toyota's approach to engine design focuses on choosing the right materials and simplifying the engine, which cuts energy use and emissions during production. The new engine, mainly made of aluminum and alloys, saves resources and makes manufacturing easier. Recycling aluminum significantly reduces energy consumption because smelting recycled aluminum needs only 5% of the energy required for new aluminum. As a result, the retrieval rate of engine parts has increased from 50% with cast iron to 83%. The manufacturing process's impact on saving natural resources is important, with reduced energy use and CO2 emissions compared to traditional engines. A study by Toyota in 2000 found that the new engine reduces energy use and CO2 emissions by about 12-14% compared to regular petrol engines. However, it might be worse for the environment than hybrid engines, though better than petrol engines. Freshwater scarcity is another critical issue, with less than 3% of Earth's water being fresh. Over a billion people lack access to clean water, free from disease-causing contaminants. Toyota's hybrid Synergy Drive aims to save about 22 billion gallons of water yearly. The new engine's reduced assembly time, decreased oil-based mess, and less need for cleaning contribute to water conservation. Additionally, high-voltage wiring systems reduce the need for metal shells and brackets saving resources and cutting environmental impact. Toyota's water engine technology, using water power and electrolysis, holds promise despite the challenges in optimizing the electrolysis process and ensuring the electrode's durability. It aligns with Toyota's commitment to sustainability, potentially reducing the environmental impact of transportation by eliminating the need for high-pressure storage tanks for hydrogen. This innovation challenges the dominance of electric vehicles offering simpler refueling processes and significant environmental benefits. The water engine's greater energy efficiency could reduce carbon emissions in the fuel cycle. However, this technology's success depends on overcoming efficiency challenges and ensuring widespread use. If successful, it could transform transportation, reduce reliance on fossil fuels, and offer significant environmental benefits, especially in developing countries. The simplicity of refueling safety improvements, and economic benefits highlight this technology's potential to change the automotive industry and support a more sustainable future. A key feature of the water engine is its ability to use wasted heat and convert it into power. This not only improves fuel efficiency, but also reduces vehicle overall energy consumption. As the engine operates at ideal temperatures, it minimizes wear and tear, extending the life of the engine and its components. This means fewer replacements and repairs, leading to cost savings for vehicle owners. Moreover, the water engine's design reduces the number of parts and materials needed, making manufacturing simpler and more efficient. The use of recycled materials like aluminum further enhances its environmental benefits. Recycling aluminum uses significantly less energy than producing new aluminum, which helps conserve natural resources. 
the water engine produces far fewer pollutants than traditional engines. This is especially important in areas with poor air quality, where vehicle emissions can be a major contributor to pollution. By reducing harmful emissions, the water engine can help improve air quality and public health. One of the major challenges facing the water engine technology is the need for an efficient electrolysis process. This process is crucial for converting water into hydrogen fuel. Toyota must optimize this process to ensure the engine's viability and efficiency. Additionally, the durability and safety of the electrodes used in the water tank are critical factors to consider. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of the water engine are significant. It offers a greener alternative to traditional fuel sources, reducing the environmental impact of transportation. By eliminating the need for high-pressure hydrogen storage tanks, the engine addresses one of the major drawbacks of hydrogen-powered vehicles. The water engine's innovative approach to fuel utilization could lead to a shift away from fossil fuels. This would not only reduce carbon emissions, but also decrease the extraction of rare metals, which are often required for electric vehicle batteries. The simplicity of the refueling process and the engine's overall efficiency make it an attractive option for both consumers and manufacturers. Toyota's new water engine technology represents a significant step forward in eco-friendly transportation. Its ability to harness wasted heat, reduce emissions, and improve fuel efficiency makes it a promising solution for the future of the automotive industry. As the technology continues to develop and overcome challenges, it has the potential to revolutionize transportation and contribute to a more sustainable world. What do you think about Toyota's new water engine technology, gimmick or game changer? Like, comment and subscribe to join the discussion and stay updated on future innovations.